Hello everyone, this is Siddharthan. Currently, we are discussing about the fourth module in our machine learning course. So the fourth module is about data collection and data pre-processing. And this is the sixth video in the data pre-processing module. In this video, we are going to discuss about train test split function. Okay. In case you are watching my videos for the first time, I in this channel, I'm making a hands on machine learning course with Python. You can check out the playlist in my channel to start learning my course from the beginning. OK, so this train test split function is one of the important steps in data pre-processing. So we will do this uh, train test split in uh, every machine learning projects we do. OK, so before uh, you know, I explain you about what is meant by this train test split function. I want to explain you about the general workflow which we will follow in a machine learning project. OK, so this is how a machine learning workflow will look like. So the first step in any machine learning project is to get the data we want. OK, so this data is chosen based on our problem statement. So let's say that we want to predict whether a person is diabetic or not. So in that case, we want medical data for uh, several persons of diabetic and non-diabetic persons. So we use this data to train our machine learning model and do some predictions. OK, so the first step is to collect the appropriate data. So once we have the data, we cannot feed it directly to our machine learning algorithm. So we need to process the data. So this is where data pre-processing steps come. OK, so in data pre-processing, so we do a lot of things to the data. Say, for example, if the data has some missing values, so we need to handle those missing values through some methods. OK, so these are the steps that comes in data pre-processing. OK, so once we do the pre-processing, we need to analyze the data. So it helps us to give some meaningful insights out of the, out of the data. So for example, a data set may contain 10 columns or even 20 columns. So we call these columns as features. So we need to find which feature is important for the prediction and stuff like that. So this is where we use data analysis. So in this, we you know make some plots and analysis to see which uh, features are important. Okay. So once we analyze the data, the next step is to split the original data into training data and testing data. So this step is known as train test split function. So this is what we are going to see in this video. So once we split our original data into training data and test data, we will feed this training data to our machine learning model. OK, so there are several machine learning models. So what we will do is this training data will be used to train our model. So our model will find the pattern and learn from this training data. OK, so once it has learned from the training data, our model will be evaluated and this evaluation will be based on the test data. OK, so evaluation is about finding how the model is performing and what is the accuracy score of the model and such kind of things. So the takeaway is that we use the training data for training the model and we use this evaluation uh, by the train uh, test data. OK, so now let's see what is this train test split. OK, so when we have this original data set, so we take 80% uh, or 90% of the data as training data and we take 10% or 20% as testing data. OK, so which is used for evaluation. But what is the need for this evaluation? So let's try to understand this with an analogy. So let's say that a person is studying for a max exam. OK, so let's say that he is preparing, uh, you know, for the exam by practicing the questions in given in a textbook. So that questions will become the training data. So in exams, the examiner will ask the questions that may be out of that book. OK, so because if uh, the questions are asked out of the book, then only we can, you know, evaluate that the person has studied well. OK, so asking the same questions given in the textbook may not uh, be a correct metric to, uh, you know, uh, analyze his performance. So this is uh, the same example here. So we cannot test our model based on the training data because our model has already learned has already seen the training data, but it never saw the test data. So that's why we need this testing data to evaluate our model on how it's performing and what is uh, the accuracy score and other metrics of the model. OK, so with that being said, let's uh, get into some coding part and how, how to do this training and test uh, testing split. OK, so I will be doing this in Google Collaboratory. So before starting with the video, I'll just show you a quick intro to my channel. So this is my YouTube channel in which I'm posting my machine learning videos. So once you go to my channel, you can see this machine learning course curriculum. So in this, I have explained about all the modules and the videos that I will be covering in this channel. So in the description of the video, you can uh, see the curriculum file so you can download it and go through it. So I have also mentioned some uh, important machine learning books that you can read. OK, so it is also given in the description of all the videos. So you can go to this playlist section. 
to uh, check out the modules okay so as you can see here the first module is on machine learning basics the second module is on python basics required for machine learning then the important libraries such as numpy pandas matplotlib and uh, cborn okay and the fourth module which we are discussing right now is data collection tree processing and also i have um, several machine learning project videos so i will be posting three videos per week two videos will be on monday evening and wednesday evening which will follow this course order and every fr friday i will be posting one machine learning course video sorry machine learning project video okay so you can also check this machine learning course with python so i have uh, you know incorporated all the videos in this particular playlist so in case you are new to this google collaboratory you can go to the second module which is python basics for machine learning so in that the first video is about how you can access google collaboratory and how you can uh, you know use different features present in it okay so now let's get into uh, this uh, section so this is where we run our python programs so i have taken an example project so this is about diabetes prediction so we have already did this machine learning project in our channel so you can go to the machine learning project playlist to see the full uh, code there so here we have the half code so i will stop this video by you know splitting the data into training data and testing data okay so before that i'll just give you a quick recap of what we have done here so i have already uploaded the data set file here so this is diabetes.csv which contains uh, the medicinal data so i'll give the link of this data set file in the description of this video okay so first what we are doing is so we are importing the libraries so we need some important libraries such as numpy pandas sklearn so we use the standard scalar function to standardize all the data and this is the train test split function which we are going to see okay so this will automatically split our data into training data and test data so in this case uh, i will be using a support vector machine model for training and then we will predict our accuracy score okay so i won't be explaining uh, the entire thing because we have already uh, did that in the diabetes prediction project video okay so i'll just explain this train test split function so after that we have loaded this uh, data set uh, in a pandas data frame okay so using this read csv function and we have seen what are the different columns are present in it okay so these are some data analysis part on finding some statistical measures and we found that there are two labels in our uh, outcome column okay so you can see the outcome column here it's either one or zero so in this case zero represents non diabetic patients and one represents diabetic patients okay so you can see this is the mean for each cases so for non diabetic uh, persons so this is the average value of each column and one is uh, for diabetic people okay and then we are splitting our data into features and uh, targets okay so the feature is all those columns except this outcome column okay so this outcome column is the target and we will take it separately okay and all these other columns act as the features so you can see here we have stored all the features in x and all the features in y okay so and we have printed it and this x doesn't contain the outcome column and y contains only this outcome column okay then we have applied this uh, standard scalar function so this uh, data standardization uh, is used to make all the values in a common range so you can see here so some values are in the range of hundreds and some are in the value of 20s and 30s some are in the you know uh, in the range of 0.6 and such kind of things so we use this uh, data standardization to have all the values in the same range okay so we have standardized the data and the next step is where we will split our data into training data and test data okay so if you want to know more about this particular project please check out that diabetes video so i'm not explaining much okay so now i'll just create a text here as splitting the data into training data and testing data okay so now we can use the train test split function that we have imported from sklearn dot uh, model selection okay so you can see this here so we have imported the train test split function using sklearn dot model selection so that's what we are going to use now so before that we need to create four arrays so x train x test y train and y test okay so i'll just explain you what is meant by these uh, four arrays so in a moment so before that let me complete this line of code so train test split and inside this train test split function we need to mention 
the parameters so here we need to mention x and y we know that x are the features and uh, y are the outcome so we need to split this x and y so we need to mention x and y and then let us mention the test size so test size is equal to 0.2 okay so 0.2 means I want to take 20 percentage of the entire data as test data. So as I've told you earlier during the presentation that we take either 10 percentage or 20 percentage of data as the test data, right? So in this case, I'll take 20 percentage of data as the uh, test data. And then I'll mention another parameter, which is random state. Okay, so let me put random state is equal to two. So you can give any integer values for this random state. So the reason for this is if you want to split the data the same way that my data is getting splitted, then we need to give the same value here. Okay, so if you give uh, the value as two, your data will be splitted in the same way that uh, my data is going to get splitted. Okay, so if you mention three, then your data will be splitted in a different manner. Okay, so these are the parameters which we need to mention x, y, test size and random, uh, random state. Okay, and now we have this four arrays. So x train is nothing but this features. Okay, so these features will be uh, split into x train features and x test features. So 80 percentage of the data points in this features will go into this x train and 20 percentage will go into this x test and the corresponding labels of this x train will be, uh, you know, going into this y train array. Okay, so this uh, corresponding y will be split into y train and y test so y train contains the corresponding labels for x train and y test contains the corresponding label labels for x test okay so let's run this okay so now you can go ahead and print the shape of x so x is nothing but our original data set uh, shape and x train dot shape and x test dot shape okay so let's run this So we have uh, in the original data set, we had about 768 data points and eight columns. So in our X train, 80 percentage of data, which is 614 values goes into the X train and uh, the testing data, we have 20 percentage of the value, which is 154 data points. So this is how you can split your original data into training data and test data. OK, so if you want to know what we can do after this on how we can predict the predict that a person has diabetes or not so you can check out that uh, diabetes prediction video in our machine learning project playlist okay so i hope you have understood about a train test split function so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video thank you